I love to use Tapazi F to upscale. And I put it in many times in my video. However, with recent changes, with the pricing and how what they're providing, I'm going to change my mind. And even before I recommend, now it is under question mark and this is, will be your decisions. Well, let me explain what's going on here. Personally to me, one of the big plus of Tapaz Lab, it is I'm paying once and I want software. I don't need to worry about monthly fees. If for some reason I cannot afford paying this month, it's okay. I still have it working applications. And when I need to upgrade, I will upgrade. Well, and tell you the truth, some upgrades cost like $150 in month if you need it. Well, uh, in year, sorry, $150 or $155 you're paying a year. You have a year of updates and you're getting new versions. If for some reason you cannot upgrade this year, you can skip it. You can do in the next. This is very nice customer friendly and this is very accepted to the industry. Well, with a trends, reasonable trend, try to switch everything to subscriptions. Well, on my opinion, Topaz Labs fall to the dark side of the subscriptions. So what they did, they changed everything. So now you cannot purchase separate applications. You can subscribe them or list them from them to pay monthly fee and um, use it this way. Here's a couple bad things about what's going on with this. First, if I want just one application, if I work on a photography, I don't care. I need still purchase now or paying for applications that I'm not going to use. So I cannot select pick application that I wanted. Well, that is a not big deal. Next, pricing increasing. Three, $37 just for the studio for one to buy it. It will bring us about 420 a year, which is already double from what you usually pay because if you're paying $150 um, uh, a year to access your upgrades and all the stuff for two applications, Topaz Video and AI, you're paying $300. Here you need to pay $420, $430 now for access the same things. Yes, this says, hey, you will have it unlimited local renders. We do already have it unlimited local renders. So I don't know why they even put it this stuff here. Unlimited image rendering, you know, the, yeah, yes, it is a benefit, but uh, I don't know how many times we can use this. And I know on other services will do similar things. Okay, you have it, a video, 300 video clips here. Well, actually, it's not video clips, it's cloud credits, which is actually will deplete depending on how big is your video. And some of them was depleting quite a bit fast. If you have it, a uh, 15 20 minutes video you want to upscale to 4k it will chew through those credits like cookie monster through at a uh, sesame street you know just done it well you have it also future model same with uh, i don't see it my another problem what i found based with the subscriptions and companies who um start switching to subscription models it is big drop in a quality and developing because if customer already paying them subscribing they are already entitled to this money it's meaning person won't drop it doesn't matter what you develop and i can give you examples based on different companies from big like adobe to the eon software and other with whom i work i saw every time when they switch to the subscription model they stop developing they're like uh let's put a couple things to just show them we do something but it's never progressed in fact if you look right now if you look on adobe photoshop right now versus what three years ago you won't find that big different yes they adjust small things oh wow now i can left click where i can need right click okay small things adjustment but nothing big exchange because they already know people lock in the software they cannot leave it Otherwise, if you are uh, base it on an upgrade version, you need to make something new, something that people say, you know what, I will pay my 150 bucks to upgrade for that version. So you kind of force it to this. This is, will be degradation in the quality of developing future applications. That is a, another reason to this. And between us, Topaz AI, it's not Adobe. It's not Photoshop full developing package. It is something that take and work upscaling and everything and many alternatives there. Well, uh, just recently, you remember I show you AI Arty, which actually in comparison with Topaz was 
on the same level or better in some cases actually did produce. And if we look at this one on pricing here, they actually provide a couple of them. They have it full out, just buy with lifetime license, lifetime updates. And actually for the price, just a little bit fifteen dollars more than usually upgrade in other ones and you buy it with free upgrades everything or you can have it uh subscriptions or other ones uh, why don't offer this why don't offer two license actually um the other applications will do same affinity and other ones you have it many other ones who offer you purchasing price and this but problem is you need to um, offer people something why they should upgrade and because I share with you all this new software and I kind of feel um, in some cases obligated to bring this point because if you watch my previous videos you may say oh he liked Topaz Lab yeah I like it and that is was one of the big plus and in current situations I do not recommend because many other alternatives you can put it i'll put more videos down below for you to check on alternatives if you want it but it does mean if the top pass work for you if you're okay with subscription with all the stuff go forward for me it just overpriced it ten dollars you can pay for photoshop and 37 dollars just for upscaler i think it's a little bit wrong in pricing there well, hopefully you find this short video informative for you. I will put it links for all this information. You can look by yourself. Let me know what you think about this, what path you will take it. Or you have better alternatives. I'm always looking for them. Well, let me know down below in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you next time. Bye.